Okay, so now we're going to create a drawing. <coughs> I'm sorry, but we ideally want to be able to manipulate the drawing sheet whenever we can. And there are certain ways that we can manipulate the sheet so that we have more of a uh, desired outcome of more or more of a, um, a a particular look to the drawing that we're looking for. And we'll be looking at the mainly two different uh, areas in which we can customize our drawing area. And the first way we'll look at is doing what's called scaling. Now, scaling is important as um, if you've ever done technical drawing or any type of engineering drawing, you know that a drawing on a particular sheet does not necessarily represent the actual size of the, the objects being represented. For example, when you do an architectural drawing, the inches or the millimeters, whatever units you use on the drawing has to represent a certain real world scale. So for example, one quarter inch might represent one foot. So we need to know how to do this in our Solid Edge 2D drafter. So let's go ahead and create a new drawing. And let's see how we actually go about doing this. So the first thing we have to understand about Solid Edge is that Solid Edge actually when we look at the worksheet, it's actually made up of three sheets that are layered over each other. If we go to view, we'll see the sheet views shows us that there is what's called a background sheet, a working sheet, and a 2D model sheet. Now each of these sheets exist at the same time and they have certain relationships between each other. Now as we want to work in scale, we'll be using the working sheet and the 2D model sheet. Now the working sheet is the actual sheet that we see. It's defined as the size of the paper that we're using. So what we want to do is we want to first define our working sheet. So typically your working sheet is going to be defined or sized by the plotter or the printer that you have. It's because, you know, you want to actually print the page if you do want a hard copy. You're limited to the kind of printer you have. So in general, most people have a printer or a plotter that can handle uh, what's called A4 size or something that's very similar to letter size paper. So the first thing we want to do is we want to define what our sheet size is going to be, our working sheet. So we go to File by clicking the Application button and we go to Sheet Setup. When we click on Sheet Setup, we'll see three tabs, Size, Name, and Background. If we look at Size, we see information on the Sheet Size, and we want to change this to A4 Wide. So we click the drop-down menu, and we go to A4 Wide. So that's a sheet of paper that's 297 millimeters by 210 millimeters. The sheet scale right now is one-to-one, -one, and we also want to go to the Background tab and make sure that our, our sheet is also on A4, our background sheet. Now the reason that this is important is that remember when we looked at the view tab, we'll just press OK to select this. When we looked at the view tab, we saw there was a background working and model. On the background sheet is where our typo block is. That's the block that has all of our information in it. So in terms of all the information, the, the, the border of our drawing, that is on the background. So we want to make sure that our working sheet and our background sheet are the same size. All right, so A4 for our working sheet and A4 for our background sheet. So we press OK. So now here we have our working sheet being A4 sized. Now anything we draw here is going to be within the bounds of an A4 sheet. Now let's say that we want to draw something that is a scale of 5 to 1. Now we need to be able to work out a scale of how many millimeters on the working sheet or how many um, millimeters or whatever our units are in the real world that will scale to our working sheet properly. So what we want to do is we want to go back to the view tab and now we want to click on 2D model because as I said, the 2D model sheet 
essentially represents a open or if I mentioned it before the 2d model sheet what that does is it represents an open world model which is essentially all units in real world so we click on 2d model and now we see that above the prompt bar we have two um, two tabs whereas before with the working sheet we only had one we have what's the called the sheet one which is just the name of our working sheet and 2d model so go ahead and click on 2D model and now go back to the application button and we'll see that instead of sheet setup we have what's called drawing area setup. So click on that and we'll open this this um this box which is our drawing area setup. Now here we have to work out what the relationship or what the scale is between our drawings area setup and our worksheet. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the size that represents a worksheet. So we selected A4 wide initially, so we need to now find A4 wide, which is here, 297 by 210. Now what we need to do is we need to work on the scale factor. Now what we want to do is we want essentially um, a, a, a drawing that in the real world would be five times larger than what is on our drawing sheet. So for example, for every millimeter, for every one millimeter on our drawing sheet, it would be five millimeters in the real world. So we'll change our scale to five and we'll press the transfer button. And this will calculate the width and the height of the drawing area. So let's go ahead and do that. So we see that in the 2D model sheet, the drawing area we have will be 1485 by 1050 millimeters whereas remember for our A4 sheet it's only 297 by 210 what this means is that we're drawing on a larger area essentially so every 5 millimeters on our on our um, real world should be 1 millimeter on our drawing sheet so go ahead and press OK you can ignore the rest of this now the 2D model sheet, the background, the title block isn't shown. We can just go ahead and draw whatever we want. So let's draw just a simple model or some simple geometry, a rectangle. Uh, let's take this circle here and let's do one over here as well. Uh, just something relatively simple. We go in the center here and we do that. Right. So we have this as our drawing that we've made. So now that we have this, what we want to do is we want to transfer this back onto our working sheet. So we click the sheet tab that's above the prompt bar and we see our background shows again but we don't see the drawing that we just did. Now go to tables and go to 2D model in the drawing views container. Now here we see our model, our, our geometry that we made and we see that we have a target that is locked onto the cursor. Click once with the left mouse button to the top left and just highlight that and then click again once you've selected it. Now you don't see anything here um, and that's really because the drawing is much larger than the working sheet but just click, left click in the middle of the sheet. Now you see when we scroll out that our drawing is placed over the drawing sheet you see it's much larger than the drawing sheet. So what we have is that the drawing itself is five times the, 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 the scale that we need. So it is much larger. Remember the bounds were something like 1500 by 1000 millimeters where we know a drawing sheet is only 297 by 210. So we have a real size of our drawing which is now made in just a block so we can't modify this drawing anymore without going back to the 2D model sheet but we have this placed over our drawing sheet so how do we now fit this to our drawing sheet well we scaled up our 2D model so now we have to descale it to our drawing sheet so click on the model so that it highlights the whole block when you highlight anything in 2D draw um, 2D drafting free it'll become purple so we see that this toolbar that I mentioned is a dynamic toolbar changed. This dynamic toolbar changes depending on what selection you've made in the worksheet or any of the sheets. So now what we want to do is we made our scale 5 to 1 before. 
So if we made our scale 5 to 1, to fit on the drawing sheet, we want to go backwards. We want to go from 5 to 1 to 1 to 5. So we select 1 to 5 from the drop down menu. And we see that now the drawing has been scaled to fit the drawing sheet. So we can move this around by just left clicking on the box, move that around to center a bit. And we see now that our drawing, that on the 2D model sheet, was here. We know that it was five times larger than our drawing sheet. We know that now it fits our drawing sheet because it's been scaled back from five to one to one to five. So what we'll, what the reason for that is that let's say that we go here. Um, we haven't looked at the dimension yet, but we just want to see how big this is. So we see that this is 624.63 millimeters on our uh, 2D model view. 624.63 millimeters. Now, we know that our drawing sheet is only 297 wide, so obviously this is much larger. But now when we look on our sheet view, let me move this a bit so that we get a clear view. We see that we have 624.63 millimeters, but now it is in on a sheet that is only 297 millimeters wide. So we see that we scale the drawing appropriately for the desired scale that we have, and we also scale the dimensions. So we know now that this is 624.63 millimeters, so every one millimeter on our drawing sheet represents five millimeters on our, uh, I mean, five millimeters on our 2D model, sorry, represents one millimeter on our drawing sheet. So we now have an object that is scaled properly for um, our desired need. And that's it. We'll, the next video, we will go on to using the title block. So we will work on the background sheet to change the information that is given in the default title blocks.